Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. Currently down the beach and we're gonna go foraging. We're in a new spot today where I've only ever been there for uh, shrimps in the shrimp net. And, uh, I came down here yesterday just for a little walkabout and I found some good holes with some big tunnels under. So fingers crossed we can find some lobsters or some big crabs and uh, just see what we can find down here. It'd be interesting for me because it's new grounds to explore. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! We've got a huge high pressure at the moment. So uh, it's a 1.8 low water, but I, I think it's going to go down a bit lower just because of that extra high pressure that we've got. So fingers crossed it pushes it out because I'm interested to see what's around here. We've got giant boulder beds, as you can see, giant boulder beds, big, big logworm beds. So the food's here for the crustaceans and hopefully the food's there for us. That right there is a harbour ragworm really wiggly worms they are brilliant for any sort of small species like red mullet or uh, any sort of flatfish as well i was just putting up a few rocks just to see what sort of baits here it looks like there's ragworm that's a pacific oyster see the size of my hand that's a beauty right there but i won't be eating any sort of shellfish like that any sort of bivalves because this beach has a sewage outlet about two miles out so any sort of fil filter feeders is a, is a no-go for eating. Where's he gone? Okay. Quite a few things in this one. We've got the lady crab there, or velvet swimming crab. The broad claw porcelain crabs. What else we got? Oh. That's the pipe fish, relative of the greater pipe fish, the massive ones that we find in the nighttime forages. Awesome little creatures. There's a lot of life in here. See a few scale worms on the rock as well. Nice scene. There we go. That's a common blenny there. And these go bright black when they're in breeding colours with white lips. Quite interesting. I get this rock back. Oh, it's another species. One rock, we found so many species. That's a common goby. Right there. Really dark one, that. And they get quite big, these. What else we got in here? On this beach, we could literally find anything. Brown edible crab. Oh, look, there's a bigger pipe fish there. <laughs> All right, get the rock back. Well, a cracking rock for the first one. Just found this pipefish here and underneath you can see where it's all carrying the eggs so there's a breeding pair in here somewhere nice right here got all sorts of sponges sea mats that there is a cushion star quite common around here and we're really high up the beach as well so it's nice to find this diversity so high up that was some cracking finds for the first rock that i've lifted I'm finding a lot of bigger holes just in the puddles like this where you've got a bit of stranded seawater and you've got a big boulder in between and holes like this is where you can pull up some really nice lobsters or brown crabs nothing in there today I checked that one before it's nice to see all of the weeds starting to die back makes it for a lot easier fishing <laughs> I just found a boat engine. Look at that. There's the propeller. Oh, can't move it. Look at that, guys. Anyone need a spare propeller? There you go. It's a big old engine, that. I don't know what size it is, but you can see the back of the boat's ripped off and the whole thing has sunk down. <laughs> it's a massive, massive engine. The size of that. It's an interesting find. <laughs> some beautiful sized holes around here but just not big enough as you can see you can barely see them when you're walking around but if you duck down surprising how big these holes really are and you just never know what you're going to find in new spots like this 
because this is an area that's renowned for fishing there's a lot of fish in this bay so there's got to be a few things around <laughs> we're still we still got an hour and a half till low water yet so that tide's going to push out a long way and then we'll be able to get to those boulders i seen yesterday for now i'm just going to work my way down the cracks of the rocks like this nothing under that one finding a ton of lady crabs around here there's been hundreds of them I haven't bothered filming any because there's just tons uh, it's nice to see so many holes though I've had uh, I've checked probably 25 holes so far and uh, this tide hasn't even gone nowhere near where it needs to big gullies like this where you see big cracks in the rocks running along like right, this this place screams lobsters second engine of the day <laughs> Pretty sure that's some sort of engine. Look at that. See all the gears inside it. That's crazy. <laughs> Go through all of that hard terrain there. Straight through all the rocks and weed. And look how beautiful that is. Got so much bird life on this beach. It's crazy. And this is where I'm going to head up all the way around this lot. Fingers crossed we can find something working my way around all this uh, mixed ground here just see if there's any clams or scallops or anything really oh i love this going down to a new beach exploring you can't beat that one of my favorite places to look when i'm foraging find old tires so old tires usually will hold something feels like it's got the inner tube in Nothing in this one by the looks of it. Wow. There's a giant shoal of mullet around here. Let's see if I can get up to them a bit. You can see them all running. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> Definitely need the bubble float soon. <laughs> I'm wading in the water at the moment. Just see if I can spot any scallops or any clams. Come on, baby. Hell yeah. This right here is exactly the reason why the fish come in so much look at that for a logworm bed it's like a lunar landscape <laughs> giant logworm you get down here all blow log uh, we get a little bit of black logworm but not not a huge amount starting to find a few clams around here now that's a dead shell there but i'm starting to find a lot of it so this has definitely got to be some sort of clam bed where i am you always find these shingly beds well, not so much in the sand, it's on the side of the shingle that you find all these uh, clam beds. It'd be nice to find a skull. There you go. That's a giant goby right there. Finding a ton of life on this beach, brilliant. Wait, he's gone. <laughs> So you can see this is some sort of dead mound to anchor boats. Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? There's a big old squat lobster then. Ah, oh, he's gone. So we'll get that back as it was. On to the next ones. Nothing in there. What's that? It's a little exampho crab. When I come onto a new beach like this, what I'm looking for is a big boulder, just like this, but you would see a big bulge of sand coming out. And that is usually the giveaway sign for a lobster. A spider crab shell. Yeah, that's usually the giveaway, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, because that's how you find brown crabs, uh, spider crabs, lobsters, but uh, more so the lobsters that, that make the big mounds. So if you find them, that's the places that you want to go to. Whoa, what's that? Big lady crab. Check that out. There you go. Feisty little lady crab. <laughs> you want some? You want some? <laughs> awesome. You can go back onto your rock, mate. There we go. It's a nice void under that rock. Starting to find some stuff. I'm definitely on a clam bed here. The amount of the uh, 
of the Venus clam shells that I'm finding here is mental. Starting to find a few live Venus clams now. Hell yeah. Starting to find a bit more life this, on this side where I am. Fingers crossed we can find some bigger stuff. I've actually been hunting around for a scallop, but I'll be lucky to find one in all the seaweed. Another one down there. Starting to find a lot of these Venuses. It's always a good sign. I've found them. Look at the size of that. This is the burrow that I was talking about. As you can see, the whole sand there has been dug right out. And that is a telltale sign for a lobster or a brown crab. There was a little lady crab in there fighting the hook. I thought it might have been a lobster, but it wasn't. Look, check this out, look. Right next to it, look at the size of the dugout holes on here. So we get the camera down. Hopefully, we can get one out of here. Or well, anything, really. Couldn't find anything on, under both of these. It's quite surprising. I really thought we were gonna find a crab or, or something to pull out. Yeah, definitely not. They must have run out with the tide. Definitely something living in there. So hopefully we can find a few more like this. Pull out a lobster. No joy on the lobster front yet. Still just working my way around the boulder beds. You just never know when you're gonna find some. Come on, you Larrys. <laughs> a massive old lady crab. <laughs> Brown crab just sitting there. <laughs> Come on, you lobsters. <laughs> Having fun nonetheless, though, for new ground. There is lobster holes everywhere around here. I'm just trying to find out a decent spot where, where they can come in from the water's edge here and find some holes. But uh, there's always time yet. Persistence, baby. Definitely scoured this beach. <laughs> I've found, I've found countless lobster holes, but just no lobsters in them. So I'm working my way on the higher part of the beach now. And then there's a set of rocks that's uh, been uncovered now because of the tide. So I'm gonna head round there and see what we can find there. Really nice prospect in new marks like this, because you just never know what you're gonna find. Come on. Oh, wow, that's a pretty one. Check that out for an Xampho crab. The colors on that thing, that's really pretty. <laughs> Brown crabs are definitely getting a bit bigger. Look at that one, that's not a bad crab at all, that. Beautiful. Better show in the sunlight there. That's not a bad crab at all, that one. But we want bigger. <laughs> it's quite interesting. I haven't found a huge amount of crabs here. But the holes are absolutely everywhere. So I'm thinking as the tides are springing and they go, they go down fast. I reckon the lobsters and crabs leave with the tide. So probably good to come here at night time. And then uh, chase the tide down and see if we can catch them out. Another brown crab there, 
finding loads of them really solid brown crabs now it's always it's weird one part of the uh one part of the beach has barely anything but loads of holes and this side it seems to be underneath the rocks we're finding brown crabs it doesn't make sense to me this beach <laughs> definitely biggest brown crab of the day that's not a bad one at all that for that bad boy let's get that seaweed off that's a lovely sized brown crab there i've seen it just tucked under the rock finding a lot more this sort of size as well some nice ones but we don't want those we want the absolute giant ones nice claws on that though come on nothing there look at that one that one's even bigger than the last one just tucked up there right underneath the rock come here buddy there we go beautiful they all seem to be males as well nice size male shankers they're not legal size to keep but lovely crabs nonetheless those that's a that's not that's not far off the legal size limit that's a beautiful size crab lovely job getting back where we found him hopefully we can find a few more but bigger I heard a splash in here guys don't know what it is it's definitely something in there something big used to live in here these sort of holes definitely are holding lobsters or crab they're freshly dug out so I think they they're definitely they're taking they're going out with the tide and then coming back in I think hopefully one night trip we can get them all a big old hole under this can't lift that one up <laughs> can see a brown crab just there but there's a big hole under it under there. oh there you go <laughs> little baby lady crab <laughs> and that's it just two crabs under there all right, come on, mate, get off. You can get in the water now. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> Another lady crab. It sounded like a lobster in the hole then. <laughs> come on, you Larrys. I'm just having a little scoot about. It's like a Mars planet down here. You can see how far that tide's come out. And it's starting to come up a bit now. Goes out a very long way on this beach. So you always have to have your wits about you. I'm gonna work my way around here and hopefully we can find something. That's all for today's episode, guys. Really thought we were gonna get a lobster on that one, but hey ho, you can't win them all. Found a few brown crabs, a few different creatures. And uh, this is gonna be a good foraging spot in the future, I think. Once, like I said before about uh, the crab potters, once they pull their pots in for the winter uh, and I come down here, I reckon there'll be a lot more lobsters in those holes. But hey ho. Stay tuned for the next episode. If you like my channel, like, subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. Hopefully, next one we get a big Larry. It's smash fishing. Woo!